crush and destroy you. And at one point I had to draw the line and I heard a comparison to Jay Cole. I was like, look, no, 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 no. And I was like, don't do that. I said, now, if you want to debate with me about whether or not Philip Rivers is a Hall of Famer, that's a discussion that I think you can make an argument for or against. But I I'm really torn here because if you look at the numbers alone, I would think so. But he hasn't won anything. And his numbers aren't so incredible compared to the other quarterbacks in this era that they that they stand out on their own. They stand out because you look, and in this area, yes, they're very good. But what makes other quarterbacks of his ilk better or more amenable to being a Hall of Fame representative are that they have big numbers like that, but they also won things. And Philip Rivers has never won anything. I would maybe lean yes, but I'm not sure. He's definitely not a first ballot Hall of Famer. If he gets it, it's, it's going to be down a lot. But, I mean, it does remain to be seen. I mean, where he lands, we'll get into the, the possibilities there. Um, I, I understand the argument on the other side. Me too. I just think his longevity and what he's done for 16 seasons and to play two more, he said, so ideally, let's call it two more seasons. Yeah. I think when you play and you're successful and you're well above 500 with your record as a starting quarterback and, and what he brought to a franchise, to me, is a Hall of Famer. We can talk about Dan Marino. I know that's a different light, different era. But sure. I think being a winning quarterback percentage uh, and just the longevity. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, his durability, too. Right. I mean, you look at year after year, like Eli Manning, which is so fascinating to me. Think about Philip Rivers and Eli Manning, and the year that they were drafted, same draft class, they were traded for each other, and both were incredibly durable. Never, never injured. I mean, it, it's astonishing to look at Philip Rivers. I feel like it's undervalued when we talk about yeah. Hall of Famer. And that's one thing, I think it was Sage Rosen brought this up on Twitter. He's been on the show. He was a uh, Eli's backup for a little bit. He talked about the, the durability, the dependability of a quarterback. He started every single game Philip Rivers did. When he became the starter in 2006, he started every single game through this year, which is incredible. And his record's 22 games above 500, but as James, as you pointed out, plenty of people I'm sure watching have pointed out, he was 5-6 in the playoffs. He had a couple really good regular season uh, teams, 14-12 in 2006. 13-3 in 2009, and they could never get, they never even got to a Super Bowl. So, I, I understand the the knocks on him. To me, I think he has been one of the best quarterbacks of this generation, yep. and I would put him in the Hall of Fame. But the guys in his draft class, Eli and Ben Roethlisberger, both of multiple Super That's what I was going to say. Put that graphic up again on the top 10 quarterbacks, yardage-wise, and I want to, and I can better illustrate, I guess, what I'm trying to say here with Philip Rivers. Hopefully we can put it up on the TV side. But if you go down the list, every single quarterback on this list, Brees has a rank. Brady, multiple ranks. Peyton, multiple ranks. Favre has a rank. Marino doesn't have a rank. Played in a completely different right. era and rewrote the record book. Philip Rivers doesn't have a rank. Eli has ranks. Big Ben has ranks. John Elway has ranks. And so that's what I'm saying. From a pure statistical standpoint, yeah, it stands out. But everyone he played with has similar numbers and they won something, and Philip has it. That's the one big knock against him. So let's just uh, let's spin it into where he can play next year. Let's just say he goes to Indianapolis, which is an option. And and I think if, if, if we're to bet on it, we'll show some odds here on the TV set here in just a moment. Philip Rivers to Indianapolis, I think, makes a lot of sense. That team is, is built to win. Uh, I think, you know, for him to go there, great offensive lines, weapons, good defense, uh, good head coach and Frank Wright, I, I think, to me, that would make a ton of sense. Questions that put Jacoby Brissett at at, uh, at the quarterback position. So just uh, before you guys give your opinion on where he can land, Philip Rivers, let's say he goes to Indianapolis, sure. spends two years there, wins the title. And he's not the main reason, but he's the quarterback of a team right. that wins the title. Does that solidify him as a Hall of Famer? It would help tremendously. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's, just, it's, it's interesting when, you know, you think about, now Peyton had already won a title with Indianapolis and then right. went on to win with Denver. But let's say that Denver Super Bowl was his only Super Bowl. Is that the reason he gets in? Because his defense led him to Super Bowl? It's, a, it's a, just an interesting conversation. And I, I'm not saying there's a right or a wrong answer. It's just he had so many good years. And then if he gets, let's say, if he becomes a just a, a game manager but wins a Super Bowl, then he gets in because You're of right. That. It just changes the situation it's, it's of being a winning quarterback. Right. It is bizarre. Well, and it it's, is. it's how deep you get, too. Like, look at Jim Kelly from the Bills. I know we're going back a bit. Four but Super Bowls. He went to four Super Bowls. I know he didn't win either of those, but on paper, it's like, well, you lost to some great teams. One was with a field goal that went wide right. You won AFC championships. 
Phil Rivers has done none of those things. So even with a quarterback who, in his generation, didn't win at all, was respected because he was a winner and won in big moments, even though he wasn't able to get a world championship, and Phil Rivers hasn't even been close. I'm being devil's advocate.